and gentlemen, to another episode of our Lorbeck Luxury Cars Friday Drive. Now, the weather isn't great, and Shrek has said, Sam, I want you to come and drive the 765 LT, and I couldn't get here quick enough because this thing is one of the coolest cars I've been lucky enough to sit in, and I haven't driven one around the track. There's only 765 in the world. Such a special car, and I can't wait to talk to her a little bit more about the car, a little bit more about my experiences with it, the McLarens in general, but also how incredible this thing really, really is. I don't really know where to begin, because this thing is incredible. I mean, just look at the, first of all, I just want you to look at the side profile of the car. It's based off the 720S, derives from the same engine, but in a bit we're gonna talk about why it's different and why the LT, not just because of the long term, why is it so special in comparison to a 720S, other than the fact that there's limited numbers as well. As we come through the front end, it's got the black interior, got the Sicilian yellow, which I think is such a cool color for this type of car. If you're gonna get a car like this, don't get a boring color, don't just get black. Let it stand out, let it be proud of what it does. And as you come around, we've got the black wheels, we've got the carbon ceramic brakes. You can see the aerodynamic details as we're coming through the car from the front end. And the 765 LT has 25% more downforce than the 720, which the 720 already has a, a, a huge amount of downforce, that rear wing as it pops up and down. I've been lucky enough to drive the 720 quite fast on a racetrack, and the way it delivers its power is so incredible. The downforce that it holds on the circuit with the big tires, that compliance on the, on, on the circuit is incredible. And to have 25% more than that already is super, super impressive. We're gonna make our way across now. We've got the black exterior package, if you will. I wouldn't even call it a packet. That's just the way it's been optioned. You can see the 765 LT here, and of course, the McLaren doors, I mean, they're just so cool. I mean, they stand out more than anything, and there's something so cool and unique about these cars that just make them so incredible. I'm gonna pop this down now, and we're gonna get into the interior a little bit in, the, in a minute, but actually, one thing I just noticed, that I want you to come around here for a second, Digby. You can see the carbon fiber, sort of monocoque chassis, if you will, all the way around. There's some, just a small detail, but you can see there's no weight spared with this car. It's a lightweight, higher performance version of the 720, limited edition, and even that being able to see the carbon there rather than it being filled in with something. Same as the seats, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but it's there's been nothing spared with this car, and I think it's so, so impressive. We'll make our way around to the back here, and there's a couple of things that stand out to me more than, more than anything, and one thing that I think is super, super cool is this quad exhaust at the back. Different to the 720S, that, that row of bank of four exhaust chips, the sound, the noise, the feel that you get from the car, this big active rear wing as well. You can see the fixations in here where the mechanics are gonna be for it to raise up and down, which I think is super impressive. And you've got this like lightweight like mesh all the way through here. It's a sort of very light material, you can feel it, but in the carbon in the background here as well where the engine is, you can tell everything that they've put onto this car is there for a reason and it has its purpose. It's not just wasting space or wasting weight or having, not having no purpose of just being there. Everything, even like these little details of the holes. If this was just one sheet, it's gonna be an awful lot heavier and that's why they're saving weight. The curb weight of this car is about 1,300 kilos. Now for a car with about 750 horsepower, producing 800 newton meters of torque, to be only 1,300 kilos is incredible, and you can see why the performance is so impressive. That zero to 100 time being 2.6 seconds, and zero to 200 at seven seconds. The performance, the downforce, I could only wish to have driven something like this on the circuit in comparison to that 720 that I drove, and the 720 just does things so easily, but now with the extra downforce, the upgraded engine as well has been re-engineered in this car, and it has 45 extra PS, which works out to be about 40 horsepower. So 40 more horsepower than the 720 already has, 25% more downforce, and it weighs only 1,300 kilos. You can only imagine the performance of it, and it's limited edition. There's no wonder why this car is so sought after and why it is so special. I'm gonna hop in the interior, but I just wanted to open that door up again because I just think it is so, so cool. I'm gonna very carefully slide myself in. I'm gonna close the door here. Actually, I've just noticed this, one second. You can see 
on the plaque just on the side here, this one is number 78 of the 765 made globally, which is pretty awesome. Like to have a numbered car is unbelievable. And I'm gonna close this up. I mean, there's Alcantara everywhere. Everything is Alcantara or carbon fiber. Now the Alcantara, beautiful feel, even down to these incredible bucket seats. It's all mechanical, there's no electronic feel, there's just a bar here to, on the runners to go back and forwards. And even then, it's not just because it's easy to use, it's because it saves weight. You think about all the electronics that have to go into a, into a seat, but how much weight that was, is gonna take. You can see on the floor here, I'm gonna move this out of the way, and we're gonna just have a quick look at this, even like, on the floorboards there, you can see the carbon fiber at the bottom there. Minimal matting, but it's nice and lightweight, nice 765 LT plaque there. And you can see the signification there as well, which I'm a huge fan of. And the seats are lightweight, there's, there's great space. And then we're gonna start the thing up and we're gonna hear the engine. Sounds so good. I mean, it sounds incredible. I'm gonna talk a little bit louder because I wanna be able to talk to you about this. So at the, at the moment, we're gonna sit in comfort mode. We can utilize the active aero as well if we wanted to. Manual mode, we can make it all active. That aero, that rear wing's gonna come up and down as we brake and we accelerate. The faster we go, it's gonna trim the wing out so that we're faster in a straight line. But as we brake, the, the ring wing's gonna come up to give us that downforce that we require to stop the car and go through the corners. We've got different driving modes. We've got sport as well. The dash is gonna change their handling, sport, powertrain, sport. And now we're gonna flick into track. You can see this fold down, which I think is such a cool thing. It gives us more vision, but also we've got a nice bar across here for the revs as I rev. You can see it, the gear and the, and the speed. And I've sat in a 720S in the passenger seat and I've been watching the dash. I was at Phillip Island and I've seen us hit about 260, 270 and the thing is still climbing before we've got to turn one. Now the top speed of this car is 330 kilometers an hour. Now you're unlikely to really hit that even on most racetracks, but it just shows the capability of what this car is all about. And I'm sat in here just thinking, one, I wish I could take it out on the road, but even more so, use it what it was designed for, take it on the track and give it a proper crack. And I think this thing would obliterate the majority of cars on the road that you could take to a track, drive, but I'm kind of just in awe of this thing. Everything is for a purpose. Everything feels just right. But I'm kind of sat here just thinking about the stats that I mentioned earlier. I mean, 25% more downforce. That's a huge gain in comparison to what it already is a very high downforce car. And the same with the engine, another 40 horsepower nearly. All of that combined into this one package makes this thing so incredible. And even little details I've just noticed on the other side here, that open carbon on the, on the panel here, that chassis that you can, you feel yourself in, the wheel is nice and light and I can, yeah, I know how to, the McLarens, they're so direct with their steering and they're so much fun to drive. And you're gonna be just doing warp speed in a straight line as well. And that what makes this thing so much fun. I'm a little bit in awe, but I've had such a joy. I wish we could have driven it on the road and maybe we'll get the chance another day when the sun's out and we're gonna do a bit of a different video on it. But for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Cheers.